In this video, we'll show how to take a frequency distribution and convert it into a relative frequency distribution and change it into percentages as well in the calculator. So looking at this calculator screen, I've already gone to stat and edit in order to enter my data. So what this says is I have the number one 30 times, I have the number two 51 times, I have the number three 65 times, and I have the number four 45 times. So this together is my frequency distribution. It tells me how many times each of these variables occur. So to convert this into a relative frequency distribution in the calculator, I'm gonna move my cursor up to the very top. And in order to create your relative frequency, what you wanna do is to take your frequency, your count, how often this value appears, and you want to divide that by the sum of all of these counts. You want to add all of these values together. So my cursor is up here at the top. And what I'm going to do is type in an expression. So the expression is I want to take every value in L2 and I want to divide it by the sum of all of these values. So how we're going to do that, L2 is right above 2. So I'm going to press second and then 2 to indicate I want column 2. And I want to divide that value by the sum. So our sum, we're going to have to get that function. And that function is going to be located in list. And since list is right above stat, we press second in stat. And then we go over to math. And option number five is sum. So once again, what I did was to get the sum function, go to list by pressing second and then stat. I moved to the very last column for math, and then I went down to sum. And what I want to sum together is the column L2. So now what we have in column L3 are all of the relative frequencies, how often each of these values occur, and these are as decimals. Now, if you wanted to change your graph into, say, a pie chart, which typically uses percentages, then you can do that as well. So move my cursor to the top of L4. And what I wanted to do now is to take L3, that column, every single value, and multiply it by 100 because a percentage is just a part of 100. So that's 15.71% if we rounded two decimal places, 26.7%.